IIT, an exam that allows you to get into premier institutes like ISERS and IISC, and its popularity is increasing day by day. Many students aspire to take the IIT, and a large number of students have just moved from 11th to 12th grade. They want to know how to prepare for this exam. So today we will discuss this topic in details. This is the second part of our how to prepare for IIT series where I will specifically talk about students moving from 11th to 12th and how they can crack IIT. Before moving forward in the video, I want to apologize to all of you because there are some voice and pronunciation issues in certain parts. Also, the video is coming late because my health has not been very good. So please adjust a little. Thank you for understanding. Now, the first question is how to start self-study or coaching. This depends on you, but I will try to give direct and straightforward answer. See, self-study. Many students have cleared IIT through self-study, but their numbers are quite low. When I say low, I mean very low. Most students prepare through coaching. However, before deciding, you need to understand how those who relied on self-study actually prepared. Most students who cleared IIT through self-study watched free YouTube lectures solved questions from books and took test series at the end. So cracking this exam just by reading books is very difficult. I agree that many YouTube channels provide free lectures and high quality lectures. However, if you can afford it, enrolling in an online or offline batch would be very beneficial. If not, you can still prepare through YouTube, but make sure to follow only the best channels. Now let's talk about coaching. There are very few coaching institutes that specifically prepare students for IET. In fact, there is only one dedicated institute, Sayasra, which is online. Apart from this, most ISIS students come from JE or need coaching backgrounds. Since the syllabus is almost the same with only a slight difference in difficulty level. So preparing through JE or need coaching is absolutely fine. And most of the students do this. Now comes the question whether to choose offline or online coaching. See, IIT specific courses are available only online, not offline. If you want to prepare through JE or NEET coaching, you need to decide whether to choose offline or online. See, this depends on where you live and your financial background. If you live in a place with no good coaching centers or the available ones are not that good, so go for online coaching. Do proper research before joining any coaching institute. Don't just enroll based on random recommendations. Now, if you live in big city, have access to a reputed offline coaching center and can afford it, then offline coaching center is best. It provides better doubt support and reduces distraction. However, if you are self-disciplined and dedicated, then online coaching can also work well. Now, let's discuss study material and books. Your first priority should be coaching modules, daily practice problems, I mean DBBs, and class homework. If you still have extra time, only then refer to additional books. But trust me, after completing DBBs, modules, and homework, you won't have much time left. Still, if you want reference books, then for physics and math, solve illustrations and difficult questions from Singage or any similar book. For physical chemistry, Narendra Avasti or Neeraj Kumar is good. For inorganic chemistry, NCERT is best. For organic chemistry, MS Johan is highly recommended. For self-study students, these books are essential. I mean, guys, you have to do this book. Otherwise, your concepts and question practice will be not that good. So do these books. Talking about test series, there are very few IIT specific test series, especially free ones. One more thing that start taking test series a few months before the exam. If more coaching institutes launch IIT test series, then go for them. Besides that, Sayasra also provides test series which you can take. Now, let's talk about one of the most important aspects. When should you finish the syllabus? Your syllabus should be completed by mid or end of the November. Why? Because you will need time to revise 11th grade topics and practice questions. 
I am assuming that most students will also take JEE and NEET exam. So this timeline works well for all. PCM students should also read biology. Watch one shot YouTube videos to cover the biology chapters and you have enough time to do this so you can do all the chapters. For PCP students, guys to be honest, it's not possible to complete all the math chapters so focus on important chapters only um, to those chapters who carry a good numbers otherwise uh, doing all the chapters is not necessary and you guys also cannot do this because it's very difficult to do this as a PCP student so only do those high weighted chapters otherwise uh, you guys will waste a lot of time so only do those chapters who carry good numbers in exam. I have listed below the chapters that you can easily cover so check them out in the description box. For PCM students, I have not separately mentioned biology chapters because biology is relatively easy and you have plenty of time to complete its syllabus. However, if you want, I can make a video on it. One more thing, if you want to focus only on PCB or PCM, you can do that too. There is no issue. And you can still get into good isers, especially PCB students. PCM students, I would suggest studying a bit of biology as well, if possible, because math questions can be a bit tough. So you guys, please uh, study biology too. Now, if you have backlog of some 11th grade chapters, don't worry. In coaching, if any topic from 11th grade is required, teachers usually explain it. So there won't be much difficulty in class, but that doesn't mean you should completely ignore those chapters. Try covering them little by little every Saturday and Sunday. This way you won't feel burdened at the end. However, don't get so caught up in 11th grade studies that you neglect 12th grade topics. And if you are a school going student, don't worry because the school syllabus is almost the same. Uh, but if you guys want a video on this topic that how can you manage both school and IET preparation, tell me in the comment section, I will make a video on that. Lastly, I want to give some final tips from my side. Don't make mistakes this time. Stay dedicated and don't waste time. Enjoy the journey, study stress-free, focus on question practice and try to be as consistent as possible. Best of luck all of you and if you have any doubts feel free to comment until then goodbye see you in the next video take care